Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the data you have already entered into QuickBooks along with the cash flow projector to create an estimate of the cash flow in your company for the next six weeks. After you set up the information needed to create the cash forecast, you can view the cash available in a report. You can even view how making changes to estimated receipts and disbursements could affect your future cash balance. To start the cash flow projector, select Company, Planning and Budgeting, Cash Flow Projector from the menu bar to launch the cash flow projector. Read about what this tool will provide to you on the initial screen, and then click the Next button to continue. In the second screen, check any accounts you want to use as the beginning cash balance for your company. You can enter any manual adjustments to that balance in the Adjust Balance box at the bottom of this window. Note that this adjustment will be used each time you create the cash flow forecast, although it can be changed later if desired. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, use the drop-down under the Itemized Cash Receipts section to select which projection method you want to use for cash receipts. To learn more about the projection methods, you can click the helpful hyperlinks in the upper right corner of the window. If you selected the Manual Projection Method, then enter a date, description, and amount for your cash receipts into the section provided below the drop-down. Repeat this step to enter all desired cash receipts for each week. Then enter any adjustments in the Weekly Summary section at the bottom of the screen. If you selected an automatic projection method, edit the itemized cash receipts as necessary and enter any adjustments in the Weekly Summary section. If you have entered all your cash transactions in QuickBooks, entering adjustments in the Weekly Summary section may not be necessary. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, enter any expenses that are not accounts payable. You can either enter detailed expenses or a summary of multiple expenses in one line. Enter these into the Business Expenses section. You can also make adjustments at this time as well. Note that each screen has a Preview Projection button at the bottom that you can click to see how your changes will impact the forecast. When you're ready, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, Review the bills in your Accounts Payable account. You can adjust the payment dates if needed. You can also adjust the Weekly Accounts Payable summaries at the bottom of the window if needed. At that point, you can click the Finish Projection button to create the cash flow projection. This document can be printed by clicking the Print button at the bottom of the window. You can also click the Save as PDF button to save it as a PDF document. When finished, Click the Close button to close the projection. Then you can close the cash flow projector by clicking the Close button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.